Hey, how's it going, YouTube? My name is Rich, or right away, welcome back to the channel. What I got for you guys today is, of course, another Black Ops 3 video. So if you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Let's try and break 150 likes. Thank you guys so much for all this continuous support. Follow me on all my social media and subscribe if you're new. We recently just hit 11,000 subscribers, so thank you guys so much. Uh, we're growing really, really quickly, so I honestly can't thank you guys enough. Uh, the support is outstanding. So uh, with that being said, let's jump right into the video. Now, in today's video, I'm actually going to be talking about things that we need to see in Black Ops 3 very, very soon. Just five things I think Black Ops 3 should be adding really, really soon to the game, because the game has been out for, what, like, two months now, and uh, the game's kind of, I'm not saying it's getting stale, I think Black Ops 3 is an insanely fun game, and I really do not get bored of it, but it will start to get stale if they don't add in new things. Now, the DLC is dropping very, very soon, DLC number one, which is Awakening, I'm super excited for that, uh, they're adding four new maps, we haven't heard anything yet for, like, a DLC weapon to be added into that, but there is four new maps and I'm really really excited for those maps it'll kind of refresh the game a bit that's what DLCs are for and that's what map packs are for is just to refresh the game not have that old stale kind of feel when you're playing combine over and over again or that same map over and over again but we'll get four new brand new maps that will kind of refresh Black Ops 3 in a sense but I still think that Black Ops 3 should add some brand new things into the game very very soon so I'm gonna go over this list uh, that I just kind of have right now and if you guys agree with me and agree with the things I say on this list you guys can always leave a comment down below and just be like hey I agree with you on that and that'd be really really awesome awesome. Now, the first thing I think we should be seeing very, very soon is brand new weapons. Now, I made a video not too long ago talking about some intel and just kind of like an inside source that we got uh, saying that new guns will be added into the game very, very soon, whether they're, you know, a part of a DLC, whether they're part of a map pack, or just added into the game, uh, like the wrench and the butterfly knife and the uh, the gauntlets or the, the brass knuckles, like they were added into the game. But we should be seeing brand new weapons soon. Now, the fun thing about brand new weapons is that they kind of change the game and they change the, the momentum of the game and just make it more fresh. Uh, so it's not too stale. You know, I've seen people kind of using the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, but Black Ops 3, I think they did a really good job balancing out all the weapons so anyone can use any weapon and still do well in that game. But I still think they should add brand new weapons. Now, hopefully they add maybe like the MP40 soon or just older guns from past Call of Duties. I think that'd be really, really awesome. So let me know if you guys agree with that. Should Black Ops 3 be adding brand new weapons? Now, the next thing I think they should add is brand new specialists. Now, the specialists, we've had the same old specialists since the start of the game, and I see a lot of people overusing them. I use kind of like the same ones over and over again because I'm kind of getting used to them and they're like my favorites. But I still think they should add some brand new specialists. Now, I made a video not too long ago also uh, about some brand new specialists that and possibly be added into the game very very soon from that kind of inside source that we had and i think those specialists that i talked about should be added in very very soon it'll refresh the game it'll make it better it'll kind of change the pace of the game and uh, all around just kind of refresh the game and make it not too stale and not like the same game we've been playing for these two months now i also did make a video about this but um they should definitely add a fifth tier of supply jobs you know we have the commons we have the rares we have the legendaries and we have the epics those are kind of getting stale as well we keep seeing the same exact things over and over again in supply jobs but i still think they should add a fifth tier. I made a video about this just kind of discussing what if they did add a fifth tier and a lot of you guys did agree with me. You guys want to see a fifth tier like super or insane something along the lines of that where it's such an insane chance to get this variant of a supply drop and once you do get it you're, you're so excited. It's a, such a rare thing in the game and I really think that Black Ops 3 should add a fifth variant into the game. Now here's something I did not cover in a video but I feel like they should add new camos and new gear. I just get those same exact common camos for each weapon. I still get those kind of the, the same exact epic camos like monochrome over and over again and storm over and over again. Now I'm not saying they aren't cool, but seeing them over and over again kind of is making supply jobs kind of stale and I really don't even want to open them too much. So I still think they should add brand new camos and brand new gear. You, you know, camos that we've never seen before, just absolutely amazing camos that once you get it, you're like, what, did, what is that? I have literally never seen that before. It'll make people kind of excited and I still think they should add new gear uh, for your specialists as well and uh, new camos. Let me know if you guys agree with that. And the last thing on my list here is new kill streaks and perks. Now, I don't think a Call of Duty game has done this before. I don't think they've added a physical kill streak and a physical perk in the game. But what if they added like one more perk in each perk tier, like the perk one, uh, perk one tiers, the perk two tiers, and the other uh, perk three tiers? What if they added in like just one more perk uh, for each tier? Or what if they added a brand new kill streak, like a game ending kill streak? Uh, Treyarch is not really a fan. David Von Hart said this in the past. He's not really a fan of game ending kill streaks. But what if they actually added in one, like a Moab or like 
a nuke, something crazy like that, uh, where it's really, really hidden and they make it like a 30 gun streak or something like that. I think that'd be absolutely amazing. I think that would change the game to an extent that it's still fun and I don't think it would be overpowered. So I hope you guys enjoyed these five things that Black Ops 3 should be adding to the game. Um, I think it would just refresh the game and not make this game the same old game that we've been playing for like two months and it won't be stale and everything like that. So if you guys agree with anything on this list that I just said, make sure to comment that down below. Also, I will be having a brand new episode to my Road to Diamond series tomorrow, Saturday. So if you guys are hyped for that, make sure to drop a like. But overall, if you guys enjoyed the video and agree with the things on my list, make sure to drop a like, comment down below what your opinions on it. Should Black Ops 3 be adding these new things in the games very, very soon? I think they should personally, but let me know down below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, guys, peace out.